Hi, Oriol, how are you? Good. How are you, Jay? Good, yeah. Hi, Gardar. Hello. You're in Tokyo now? Yeah. I wanted to have a conversation about the, the, the show we're doing in, in Japan. Yeah. So, my first question, the images that you always select sometimes are very cryptic. No? You, you don't really understand the source and the content. For instance, the painting titled Grave. Yeah. When you see the, the image, you understand it's a grave, but you don't understand yeah. in what context is that grave. Well, one of the things that I like is that it doesn't really have to be so obviously understandable. I want to talk about certain themes, but I don't also want to make my own viewpoint so crystal clear. Yeah, I feel also the same. I kind of like that when you are doing comments on society or political systems, you have to have like a balance between being a preacher and doing a comment. And I believe also you, you, you can be descriptive and abstract at the same time. For instance, in, in, when I do the headlines and last lines in the movies, the source material are from headlines and last lines and, and the text is there, but when I spray paint it and overlap it, yeah. then, then you have an abstraction, but it's still descriptive. And yeah. I think the painting title grave, when you see the, the image, you understand it's a grave, but you don't understand yeah. in what context is that grave. And then also for me, actually, there's this kind of more personal reference in a way, or I was quite close with uh, Stephen Perino, the painter. Yeah. Well, among other things, the painter, and he has this quote about painting saying that, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but basically painting is dead, so I'm happily engaging in necrophilia. Hi, Oriol, how are you? Good. Thank well, you, Stefan. Where are you? I'm in Brussels. Yes. I'm, I'm presenting a, a collection of postcards that is a monument from around the world. It's around 2,000 monuments and is a mix of ideologies. It has postcards from communist, fascist, colonial, but as well poets, artists, inventors. It's like opposing ideology uh, next uh, to each other. Okay, and in terms of this piece of collecting monuments, what is your interest uh, specifically in monuments? A lot of these monuments have been destroyed, others have been removed or, or simply forget. Nothing is more invisible than a monument. Now, nowadays, uh, monuments are anonymous and uh, is an object that even when they construct these monuments, no, they want to remain. A monument is an, an anachronism, no? and a monument in a postcard is a double anachronism. Somehow this also makes me think in headlines and last lines in the movies. Are you interested in iconoclasm? Well, I kind of think that always the accumulation of information puts you in a place of a static, no? where everything becomes a white noise and it becomes abstract. Hi, how are you, Jay? Good, yeah. Fine. So there are 75 by paintings? I think 75, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the bad paintings, um, I see them as a document of, of the time we live in, of our time. They, they depict awful events in, in, in a very naive way. They, they are as bad as the events they depict. That's, that's why they're called bad painting. And the source material is, is uh, the news. The whole system is, is trying to lure you. You know, come, have a bit. It, it tastes really nice. As soon as you taste that, whatever they give you, you might get sick or you get sucked into a system, whatever, you know. And it's a similar thing. But I think the main thing is we are all naive in a way. And this comes across with his paintings. 